All right, I wanna show you how to export product data and product images to your computer. So let's say, for example, looking at, let's look at this product here. Let's get this in the view for you. Let's say we want to export all of these images to your computer. And in addition, the software has the ability to extract images from the product description. As we all know, AliExpress probably has the worst descriptions out there. It's like a lot of times there's not even any text in the description. It's just a bunch of images and half the time the images are barely good at all. But so it's 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 kind of handy to be able to get that information so that when you're importing products into your e-commerce stores, you want to um, easily have access to those images. So how do we do that? What we do is we can select the products that we want to extract. Let's just do one for now. And you can right click, <clears throat> excuse me, export, and then select download product images and description. You select that. And it'll bring up this little window here. And you can select this checkbox, if available, download images inside the product description. Obviously some of them may not have images. And so you just add all your product links here. We just added one, so let's just do the one. Actually, we can do more, let's do more than one. Let's do like those four. So you right click, more or uh, export, product, images, and description. Puts them all in there for you. Click go. Ask you where do you want to save this? I'm just going to make a new folder here. Call this products. And inside this folder, it's going to create four additional folders containing the data for each one of those products, which is going to be images and some text information regarding the summary of the product and descriptions and all sorts of stuff. So let it work through here. It, it does take a little bit to get through all the products because there could be a lot of images contained in a description or even the product images as well. Just working on the second product here. And once it's done, it will automatically bring up the Windows Explorer and show you where these folders are put. So you can see the folder names is based on the title and then a dash and then the actual item number is put appended to it. So if you go into here, we will see all the images so you'll get a list. You'll get a list of the the actual product images. These are the images that are contained within right here, the product images. And then the ones that say description, obviously those ones come from the description. And so you have all those images, so you can just click on it and you can quickly see these are all the images that came through here. And you also get two additional files. So you have the product details. And in here, you'll have the title, link, price, color, and a description, whatever text was given within the, the description. So that it looks like there was a little bit of text. And then the product description in HTML will be given as well. So you can see here the actual description HTML that they put in there. But sometimes they have different things in there. Let's take a look at one of the other products here. So that's this one. And this one. So that's just useful um, data that you could possibly use within your own descriptions in your e-commerce store. So this gives you another way to kind of get access to the data. You can um, get all the images, all the description images, the description HTML, and the product details here. And you'll also see here, it will provide you with the um, different variations. So this is a variation, stretch length and design. And this one didn't actually have any description text. So that's kind of handy as well. So you can easily use this information to manually import into your Shopify or WooCommerce stores or whatever e-commerce platform you're using. So now you have this data really quickly. Okay, here's my variation. Now these are my variations separated by commas. You can right click and just copy and then paste it into your 
particular um, e-commerce platform. And so that's basically how you can download product images and data. And you also have access to the tool up here. If you click tool button and you click here and you just have to enter in the product links in here, AliExpress product links and click go and you'll grab the data and download to your computer. There is another way to download product images. If you select, um, highlight any cell and for that particular row, you right click and select product details. In the product details window, it actually also extracts that information and you'll get the images here. And you do have the option to export those images right here. So click the export button and select somewhere where you want to save it. And then you will automatically create a folder just like before. And in that folder, you'll have the images and the product details as well. So it's very similar to what we did in another tool, but this is just another way of doing it.